Hey everybody, Sports Live in the ATL. David here. I'm doing this video. I didn't expect to do it, but you know, sometimes I like to do a video if there's something that's breaking or that's talked about that really gets me geared up to where I want to want to speak on it before I forget because as I get older, I do forget things. Uh, Road to 3K. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, click the like and, or dislike button, share to your media outlets, and click the notification bell so you know when all, all the content is uploading. Uh, again, on Wednesday night, the Lakers and the Jazz, Los Angeles Lakers, Utah Jazz live with Sports Live in the ATL, branching out to the national audience with the association. So again, if you don't know, make your plans to be there. It should be fun. Um... This right here is in, has to do with Braves country. This has been a topic that uh, has been in my mind since last offseason. And then now that it finally uh, happened, I've been on Twitter. I've seen some things. Uh, loyalty when it comes to, uh, to players. Josh Donaldson and Marcelo Zuna. Now, first of all, don't get me uh, mistaken. I love what Josh Donaldson did a uh, his, his, uh, year or two years ago for the Braves. Very good defensive third baseman. A lot of power. He was the energy that, you know, with the rainmaker, he was the energy that just, got. I think, got the team over the top. But Josh Donaldson, it's not like he did anything in the postseason that year. Okay? It's not like he did anything in the postseason. To my knowledge, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody post his stats below. I'm getting a little older, so I'm, I tend to get a little forgetful. But his name was not called that much in, in, in that series against the Cardinals. It was more Dans, Dansby Swanson. I think Ozzy Albies came to play. Acuna did some things. But Josh Donaldson, he had one homer in that uh, Game 5 debacle where we gave up 10 runs in the first inning. Okay, what did Marcelo Zuna do? I know it was only... What, uh, 55, 60 games, but something like that. But he roped through the playoffs, and he actually did really good in the NLCS as well. Even had two homers in one game. Yes, his bat tailed off after the 3-1 to lead. Everybody's bat tailed off after the three games to one NLCS lead before we choked it away. That, that, that was a team choke. Not so much on the pitching. The pitching held their part, but the, the hitting definitely uh, took a slumber. Uh, in games five, six, and seven. But if you ask me right now, who would I rather have on the Braves, Marcelo Zuna or Josh Donaldson, the Rainmaker or the Stir? It would be Marcelo Zuna and the Stir. You want to know why? Because first of all, with Josh Donaldson, there's talk out there that uh, you know, obviously we know it was between him and the Twins and the Braves uh, before the season last year, and he chose the Twins, 104 million dollars. Now, I knew, he said the Braves didn't make a competitive offer. First of all, what exactly is a competitive offer for a dude that had to prove himself after uh, the year before not playing well? You think one year makes it to the, to the point that you deserve an astronomical amount of money? First of all, you're not broke, sir. I think the Braves offered you in the 90 million range or something like that. I could be wrong, but I don't care whether it was 80 million or 70 million or 60 million or 50 or 40 or 30 million. You're not in the soup line, sir. You chased the money. And you said it yourself competitive offer. You chased it to the Minnesota Twins. And guess what? Karma struck you, Josh Donaldson, because you got hurt. I don't wish injury. But your season looked horrible last year, and uh, you got a lot to prove this year. So what are you going to do, stick it to the Twins again? Stick it to the Twins on this one? They paid you $104 million. Okay, the Braves are the ones who gave you an opportunity after the year before you came to the Braves. You weren't doing good. So you bit the hand that fed you. You should have come back to the Braves because the Braves gave you the opportunity to be where you are now. My opinion is my opinion. There are a lot out there who disagree with me. I see it in the comments, but there I know there are a lot that agree with me. But my opinion is what matters. Josh Donaldson, you sold us out, and karma came back on you. As far as Marcelo Zuna, he's the uh, the reverse of that. Before he came to the Braves, he had he had he had something to prove. Not exactly the best seasons with the with the Cardinals. I think it was the Cardinals prior, because I know he started off with the Marlins. He came in, put up astronomical numbers. Just and in, just invigorating the locker room, the dugout, 
the fans, with the stir in the playoffs. I, you know, I, I, I wish the Braves would have finished the deal. You know, he contributed to that 3-1 to collapse. He did. He had a boneheaded play at third base where, where we're up 2-zip in game 5, I think. Tag up, scored, would have been 3-zip. They reversed it. And his bat went cold also. All right, in the last three games. But overall, he did more in the playoffs in his time than Josh Donaldson did. And after the free agent market, Marcelo Zuna re-signs with the Braves four years, what, 60-something million? And that was less than he probably would have been offered. So he not only showed the loyalty and appreciation to what the Braves gave him, but he respected the fact that when, when you have a team that gives you an opportunity to prove yourself, you, you go back to that team. It's not like the Braves are not a World Series championship team. They clearly are. I'm not saying that. I mean, I think the Braves are, are better off than the Minnesota Twins. So when you look at it, the Braves got the better end of this deal. The Braves fans got the better end of the deal. I got the better end of the deal. Like I said, make no mistake, I love Josh Donaldson. I was lobbying for him to come back and so disappointed when he left. But when people are defending saying that Josh Donaldson is better than Marcel Azuna, are you serious? Really? From a stat perspective, if he would have played the whole season, he would have blew out Josh Donaldson's numbers. And he performed better in the playoffs. And he took less money to come back to the team that gave him an opportunity. And that, that's what happens in sports. There are a lot of people who use a team to come back on and uh, just bolt. And Josh Donaldson and Marcelo Zuna aren't the first players to come to the Braves to try to prove themselves. Josh was just one of the most high profile that left. All right, because to my knowledge in the past, all these runs, when a, the Braves, a lot of players, most players in the league respect the Braves organization and the way they do things. If the Braves give them a shot, they usually come back. You can, you can go back to the 90s and look at all these guys. I mean, there's so many names, too many to mention. If you want to mention in the comments, feel free. But so many players have come to the Braves throughout the years on short deals and re-signed because why? They respect the organization, the way the Braves run things, and the opportunity that was given. Josh Donaldson did not appreciate the opportunity given. He did not respect the opportunity that was given to him. And uh, he didn't respect the Braves. I don't care what he says in the post-conference or what anybody supporting him says. He chased the dollar bills. But again, if he would have stayed with the Braves, it's not like he would have been in the soup kitchen or on food food stamps. He clearly has he clearly would have made 90 plus million dollars. And if you can't live off 90 million, something's wrong with you. So the almighty dollar is what chased Josh Donaldson out of Atlanta, not his loyalty. So thank you, Marcelo Zuna, for doing diligence, for doing the right thing. We here in Atlanta love what you got. We're looking forward to a full season with you. And uh, let's go get that World Series ring. World Series or bust. Because good people deserve good things. Sports Live in the ATL. And I will see you in the next one.